Well, it's still about 89. Well, I just saw the Indiana Jones 5, the Dial of Destiny trailer. Um, I, I saw this last night. Um, I didn't think it was real, because I know it's so far away. I didn't think they'd be putting out a trailer yet, even though most of the film has been finished, apparently. So they would have the footage to do it. But um, promotion-wise, I didn't think they would be doing it yet. So I didn't look at it. And then I, and I realized, oh, oh, that was real. So I watched it. And I thought it was good. And yes, it's a trailer. They can make films look like anything in a trailer. But um, it looks good. It starts off with um, the guy from the other film. I forgot his name. Um, I'm not a huge indie fan, I'm sorry. But he's basically talking to Indy saying, look, I miss the desert. I miss the sea. I miss waking up wondering, you know, what sort of adventure awaits us. And Indy's like, yeah, no, nah, we're past that now. And he's like, mm -hmm. And, you know. Car chases, horse riding chases, and things in shoe. Um, what surprised me was it does appear that the time travel element is true. I, this was a rumor that people were saying, and I actually didn't believe it. Um, I knew they were going to do a um, CGI um, de-aged indie. I thought they were just going to use flashbacks, and something that happened in the past would relate to what happened in the future. They wouldn't actually travel back. But they actually, it seems like... There was a Millennium Falcon shot, basically, where it looks like they're flying in a spaceship and there's, like, time flying past them or something. I'm like, is that how they... What the hell was that? I sort of, like... And the talk of, you know, magic. I don't believe in magic. You know, it's, but I believe it's not what you believe. It's how hard you believe. And I'm like, oh, they're trying to soften up that. They're not announcing the time travel yet. They're just softening it up for people. I'm like, okay, it looks like that's actually part of it. Which means the, the horrifying end that everyone's um, carrying on about could have been actually true or filmed or um, maybe even, you know, at least thought of or maybe just done as a troll for people just to see if there are spies out there um, that are putting stuff out from the, um, the set. I don't know. But um, the trailer looked good. There were a lot of, like I said, um, car chases. There's Indy on horseback quite a lot. And did he ride horses in the other films? I'm trying to remember. Because I, I saw them on TV when I was a kid. Uh, my f a friend of mine, his dad was a sci-fi guy and he had like all the great films like on video and he let me borrow them sometimes, like the Star Trek films, the Indiana Jones films and stuff like that. And that's where I saw The Last Crusade. And then I saw the fourth film in the cinema. I liked it. My friends were just like, that just destroyed my childhood. I'm like, what? Okay. Um, and I haven't really watched them since. I own them on video, I mean on DVD, but not on Blu-ray. I know there's a Blu-ray set out there. I meant to get it, but I'm sort of glad I didn't now because I'd just buy the Blu-ray of all five. But um, I'm not really, really... I don't, I don't really remember the films really, really well because I watched them kind of twice and once was on TV when I was a kid. So, um, but I don't remember if you rode horses, but it looks like there's action. It looks like there's fun. Phoebe Wellbridge is in it. She only got, a, like, two close-ups. Like, it's not like it's all about her... She doesn't seem to be usurping him. He seems to be, you know, active and doing things. And there's a funny scene at the end where he uses the bull whip on a giant table of people. Like, he tells them to, like, back off and they'll pull out their guns. He's like, ah, he just ducks and they just start shooting. I'm like, this could work. It could be fun. I, I don't see why they can't make this film work. Um, I don't know how they're going to pull off time travel if they do it. Like, those images still could be, you know just past tense and he, you know, fictional versions of, you know, events that we know rather than going back and changing events that we know. So um, I'm, I'm still unclear about that one. But um, I just find it kind of obvious that certain people, they need their boogeymen. You know, they had Ghostbusters, they had The Last Jedi, they had, um, you know, just, 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 they need a film to hate and um, warn people about and usually the, the routine is to say how bad it is and then to say oh they're reshooting everything and then when it comes out and it's not what they say it's like oh they fixed it because of us so they get to you know be the saviour as well and um, I'm just one I'm wondering I sort of want to watch this film mostly just to see you know how wrong people were or you know, if any of the rumours were true and that becomes part of it you sort of think you know everything about it and you want to see if what people said were true but from the preview, from the trailer, it looks like a decent indie film, and I'm not seeing any su anything to suggest what the people are, are gossiping about and warning about and so forth. So, 
Um, I won't be seeing it in the cinema because I don't know when I'm going to go back to the cinema. Um, when you know what's gone, maybe. But um, it's just, I wouldn't be able to relax and enjoy myself. I'd just be sitting there thinking, okay, am I going to be sick after this? Um, yes, yeah, so no. Um, but I will watch it online. Um, and I'll probably watch the other films before I watch it. I'll have an Indiana day, I guess, and I'll watch the films and then I'll watch that just to get an idea of the whole franchise and maybe do like a review or something. But um, looks good. I'm not worried. Um, it's kind of fascinating to watch the scaremongering and, and to see this be the latest boogeyman of, you know, you know the, the um, geek culture wars and stuff. But um, I'm going to go for free to share, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Um, Harrison Ford looked okay. He does look older. But um, I think he can pull it off.